Hello. Hello, this is Dave from the Homeowners Association. Is this Mr. Dorsey? Yes. Hey, uh, I, we just have a small problem here we needed to ask you about. Okay. Um, it looks like we've had some. We one of our um, one of our employees. They were looking in your window, and they saw that you were you were walking around naked. No, you did the wrong eyes. Oh no, I don't have the wrong, the wrong guys. The wrong house? Are are you on the road? Yeah, but I haven't been walking around through your naked. No. Well, somebody in the house has been walking around naked, and and we also saw them have sex. I know you're crazy. No, I'm not crazy, sir. I'm from the homeowners. Well, somebody is. Somebody uh, is not in this house. Okay. What? Well, is it someone else there? Like, was someone I else? Me and my wife and, and little granddaughter. Okay. Well, which one of you were walking around naked and, and then having sex? I told you nobody here. Well, somebody was because we were looking in your oh. windows with binoculars. I remember when they went the, well, when, the looking in my window. When the boy had no sex. Nobody, you're crazy. Nobody. Nobody there has sex? Is that what you're saying? No, no. Hey, look, it's in the contract. Can you tell that lady to shut the hell up? Because... That's my wife. Okay, yeah, tell your wife to shut the fuck up. Cause we, we're, said, I'd be stuck a good close to you. I'd rip your ass going and coming. You no. don't tell somebody that got it. Yeah. Now listen, it's, it, I told you that anyway. it's in your contract with the homeowners association. You're not allowed to be walking around naked with your windows open and then having. I s- told you that. She ain't, not in this house. Now you go. To, you go to the wrong house. No, we have. We have. Somebody this house walk around naked. We have people looking in your windows with binoculars, and they're. What, what are you doing? Can you tell that lady to shut the fuck up? Because we're men. Shut up. This is my muffin. It's free for me to open up, and I'm going to do it. Please tell her to get back in the kitchen, sir. Say, so get back in the kitchen, bitch. Well, look. Well, look. Why, why don't you just, uh, get whoever told you that and come by and stop by my No, I'm, I'm calling to let you know we're going to have to start fining you. We're going to have to. It's a $500 fine every time we look in your window. Every time somebody calling in, I'm. I can go up there and call in say, I've seen this, and i seen You couldn't prove that yet. You no. couldn't prove it. Oh, no, we have pictures of you walking around naked in your house. I have no pictures of me. Well, I'm going to find out who's going to the post office. We, we have pictures, sir, and, and it's it's not What's just... What's your name? My name is Roy. I'm with the Homeowners Association. I've seen me walking around naked. But I don't walk well, around naked. Also... I'm homeless those days or something. Yeah. Because they took some pictures they took no pictures of them, That's for sure. Yeah, and, and listen, when, when, uh, speaking of, when you are clothed, you, you're, it looks like you're wearing hobo clothes. Like, you're, you're very, very low-rent looking clothes. I'll and, tell you what, bring that pictures by you. Stop by and show them to me. And you, you need to wear nicer clothes, sir. Oh, man, I, I'm wearing the same thing I've been wearing. And whatever you're talking about, whatever, whatever you're talking about, you know what you can do. Hey, listen, tell that lady. You can take that camera. And whoever told you that, and go right straight to hell. Oh, well, we're gonna we're gonna fine you for this. Well, you're gonna well, pay do it. Five hundred dollars a week for every well, do it. every yeah. week that we see you walking around naked in your house through your windows. Well, you're, well, you're gonna mess around finding you yourself because you ain't seen me walking in no damn house having well, no sex. Well, you need to le- learn to read your contracts. I ain't got no contract with nobody. Yeah, we're with the homeowners association, you idiot. I ain't got you in it just yet, you damn stupid ass. We're with the country club. I, I, I ain't got no contract with nobody. We're with the country club, stupid. I ain't got no country club either. You, you're the stupid ass. You don't have to be a member of the country club, but we still, we're still we still with the homeowners association. You're not allowed to walk around naked having sex. Homeowners association. I ain't got nothing to do with no homeowners association either. We, we've got, we've got uh, drones, you know, those yeah, quad, quadcopters, and they look in your windows. Yeah, and come by the house and stop. I don't want to come by your your hobo house where, where yeah, you're all naked all the time. I'm not gonna lay you in bed and then lose my breath. This is some kind of shit like that. I'm I'm just gonna go ahead and hang up on you. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna I'm gonna fine you five hundred dollars, five hundred dollars for hanging up on me. Five hundred dollars. Yeah, for hanging up you're on me. Do it. That's what you get. Five hundred dollar fine. You do it. It's a hang up fee. Mm, you go ahead and don't charge me five. And get the law on whoever, whoever got charged. Oh, show tell, tell that lady in the background to shut the hell up. I don't have to shut up. This is my mouth. If you want to shut it up, you come here and shut it up. Tell her to get in the kitchen. Go to go back to the kitchen, ma'am. You better 
you better get in the kitchen yourself. You will be in if I can get close to you. Yeah, she, she's... I had my fish in your damn uh, mouth. We're going to have to find her for interrupting a man's conversation. Well, I'm fine, I'm just, you are the stupid ass. I, what? Why would you call me a stupid ass? That's not nice. Well, but you just called me one, didn't you? No, I never. I never once said you were a stupid ass. I just said you're a hobo. You're a ho- You're a naked hobo. I tell you what, you you take the pictures and do whatever you and show them to me, and I, I'm I'm gonna. I wish I could get hold of you. Now, look, we've got a drone flying outside your window right now. We can see in there. What you guys are laying in bed and you're naked. You're a damn yeah. lot too. Maybe you are. I'm allowed to be naked because I work for the homeowners association. We're allowed to be naked. Well, it's because that you don't answer during the day because you're too busy being hobos and wearing hobo clothes and being naked. Yeah, we love wearing hobo clothes. Can you tell that lady to uh, shut up? Well, she that shut up. Okay. You well, you be shut up if I could get close to you. He was a man yeah, that you said. Well, we don't come on, you, you come by the house and stop me. You do too have to talk to me. If you hang up, you get you get a hang up fee, five hundred dollar hang up fine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, all right, there you are, then. Here you go. I'm gonna fly up. you're listening to the snowplow show this is episode 570 and today is july 17th 2019 and this one is brought to you by the mad weasel mr john plaz ryan jardina and anagal 009 those are the supporters of this episode thanks guys there's also some new supporters on the patreon like aussie jack m michael o bob vance vance refrigeration k dog and sam l Thanks, everyone, for signing up. If you'd like to sign up, please do that over on patreon.com slash phone losers or the other places, I guess. I had this comment on YouTube from Adsef about the cross-line stuff, and he says he wants to do cross-line tober instead of ding timber. Since we're not doing ding timber this year at all, I said maybe it should be called cross-tober. I love this idea, except, I mean, really, I'm not going to do an entire month of nothing but crossed lines but somebody should remind me in october to do more crossed line calls and i'm gonna do some more before then though those were a lot of fun i want to try that again i actually got some ideas here from incognito he left it in a comment on the website he says mid conversation ideas be in the middle of bidding for the recipient's phone number that would be great to hear them argue or maybe carol is just taking their number and when the recipient shows up I could start making them bid on it, like do an auction right there and see if the recipient will try to outbid her. Uh, be in the middle of ordering expensive merchandise under the recipient's name. Be in the middle of sending an anonymous love message to the recipient's spouse. And be in the middle of arranging a collect call billed to the recipient. Those are great ideas incognito. I'm putting those on my prank call idea page right now. Tonight, there's probably going to be a hang up the phone show. If you like live shows where no pranks happen, then that's the show for you. But right before that, I'm not positive about this or anything, but usually Devin does a show right before us on her Mixler, Mixler.com slash Devin Anistart. And she usually does about three hours of prank calls. It's a lot of fun. I think I heard a rumor that King Richard is going to be on with her tonight, so I guess that actually confirms that she'll be on tonight. The fun all starts at 7 p.m. Pacific tonight, Wednesday, on Devin's Mixler. I'll have a link in the show notes on snowplowshow.com or in the show notes of the YouTube if you're watching this on YouTube. And then Hang Up the Phone starts around 10 o'clock at night Pacific time, and that'll be me and Fresno Carl taking calls live on the air. You can call in and talk about pretty much anything you want until we hang up on you. 
We try to do that about every Wednesday night. We skip every once in a while, like last week, but it should happen tonight. By the way, that intro song you heard today, that rendition of Shifty Pop's Snowplow Show theme song, that was me playing that on a Casio PT-1, which is an old keyboard that I had when I was a kid. I went on eBay and found it, and I just couldn't help myself. I had to buy it. And now we have yet another version of Shifty Pop's theme song. But there's actually a video version of that if you want to see it. I'll have a link to that in the show notes. I posted that on Twitter and Facebook yesterday. I think that's all I have for the intro today. So today's show is actually going to be a show that I did last night, kind of late at night. King Richard and Carl went on the air for, I don't know, like an hour and a half. And right after they went off the air, I went on the air. I think it was, I don't know, maybe 11 o'clock at night, 1130. And I was going to stay on for a while, but Stupid Mixler kicked me off. And that's what you're about to hear. I don't know if this is a good show. I just now finished editing it. And I'm having a hard time telling if this is a good show or not. This one might completely suck. There weren't a lot of answers. And the people that I did get to pick up, I mean, there was some funny stuff, but I don't know. I guess I'm just saying don't get your hopes up about this episode. Wow, I really know how to sell a show, don't I? Really, I just can't tell if it's a good show or not. When I was editing it, I was just kind of unsure. I cut out all the boring stuff, or I mean a good percentage of the boring stuff, so it's at least shorter than last night's show was. Anyway, here it goes. I'm going to play it right now. Brace yourselves. Here it comes. Okay, time for the show where nobody answers phones. It's going to be great. We're going to do this for seven hours. I'm also going to be talking about electric cars and hybrids and work and masturbating on the couch and uh, how much my Alexa's spying on me. And I don't know, just whatever else comes up. We'll see what happens. Um, I've got a theme song today. This isn't going to go well. I can promise you that, but I'm going to try. Here we go. There we go, and today's background music is going to be that. Let me turn that way down. All right. Oh, but it's not going to repeat, so that sucks. I'm just going to do normal music. Fuck this. So I've got a list here. It's uh, from it's from Max Power. It's from uh, November of last year. I'm pretty sure I have never called these before. I'm sorry about that, Max Power, but I'm going to call them now. I'm going to call them and tell them I bought everything. Probably nobody's going to pick up. It looks like most of these are East Coast numbers. So, yeah, they're not going to pick up. It's like it's like 2 in the morning over there. I'm going to call up someone. I'm going to make them fall down the stairs. Yeah, see, the, the song's over already. I should have made an MP3 loop of that. I didn't think this through. I feel so naked without my music loops. Oh, wait, I can play any music I want because I'm only on... Mixler, so hold on, let me find something commercial. I don't have a lot of commercial things on this machine anymore. How about that one? I'm going to regret this later when I'm putting this on the podcast and YouTube is marking it for being copyrighted infringements and stuff. That's going to suck, but whatever. I'm on the Mixler only. By the way, if you're listening to this on the podcast, if if I even put this in the podcast, because I'm kind of guessing people aren't going to pick up. Uh, but the reason I didn't post the show on Twitter is, I don't know, I just didn't want to. Sorry. You should be watching the Mixler nonstop. Mixler.com slash is this thing on? Your phone beeps at you whenever there's a show. Usually I post them on Twitter, but not always. Probably this is going to be a bunch of just phones ringing. Yeah, Mixler does suck lately for notifications. Sometimes it just completely does not notify you at all. I have noticed that I've missed a few shows. I missed a show of Carl's the other day. All right. Forget that one. I buy gold seven days a week. The Phone Loser Mixler still exists. I just stopped paying for it. I was just like, fuck it. You know, I got a YouTube. I got a Shoutcast. Got a Facebook. What do I need a Mixler for? And then this Mixler came along and I'm like, I'll just use this Mixler. It's practically free. They're not using it all the time. I can just use it. Hello? Hey, uh, this is Brad. Um, calling about that gold that you buy. Yeah, but at 2 in the morning? 
it says seven days a week. That usually implies 24 hours a day. 24. All right, okay, so send pictures and we'll give you a price. Okay, listen, what were you dreaming about? Ma'am? No, no, come on. Some people still use Shoutcast, even to, in 2019. Now she's hitting the fuck you button. It's true, Probix. Your call has been forwarded. Oh, now she's just... I think she broke her phone in half. Threw it across the room. Max power, I will save the ones that don't pick up, and I'll call them in the daytime. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow morning to make a whole show of this. It's only 11.12. Why would I be sleeping? I don't go to sleep till midnight. Just usually I'm lying in bed playing phone games until midnight. Hi, you've reached Joe's cell phone? This is more productive. I'm annoyed with myself because I didn't get a show done today. And I meant to, but I ended up doing other things. What? No, I wasn't going to do a show before Mr. Biggs. I I stayed up. I was listening to you guys, and I'm like, fuck it. I'm going to do a show. So you weren't keeping me from doing a show. It's been a night of shows, though. We had Dragon Mirror. Hi, reached Joe's cell phone. And that other guy. And then we had Mr. Fresno Carl. And King Richard did a show. That was a lot of fun. The number you have dialed is not in service. Fuck. This list is so old. Numbers are disconnected. Why is this all wanted stuff? Oh, that's what it's all going to be is wanted stuff. Wanted ads. It says that in the subject line. Okay. So this guy wants a catalytic converter. There are 30 things on this list. We are now at number five. You have reached the voicemail box of... Did I say it wrong? Catal... Cataliac... Catal... Cat Catalytic converter? I thought it was catalytic converter. Catalytic? Catal... <laughs> ain't no goddamn mechanic. You have reached the voicemail... Oh, it doesn't matter anyway. I could have just made that the whole call. Like, how do you pronounce catalytic? Catalytic. Catalytic converter. Thank you, Mr. Biggs. See, this is the real reason I didn't put this show on Twitter, because I know it's going to be this. It's going to be... A bunch of phones ringing. Yeah, there was a party time show earlier. John, please leave a message and I'll call. Was I on that? No, I wasn't on that. I just listened to that. Wait, no. No, maybe that was yesterday. I can't remember. Yeah, that was yesterday. And I was on that. That was a good show. <laughs> this person wants old teacups. And guess what? Wait. Number four. That's it. You have reached the voicemail box of... Think of my old teacups. You have reached the voicemail box... You have reached the voicemail box of... Ah, shit. That was a fuck you button. You have reached the voicemail box <laughs> of... Damn it. Two people have thrown their phones across the room and broke them. Damn it, I really wanted to break old teacups. Elton John tickets wanted. Hello? Hey, uh, I was calling about those, um, you put an ad up about needing some Elton John tickets. Yeah. Did you get those? No. Oh, that's too bad. Like, I was thinking, like, next time he's in town, maybe I could get some... Elton John tickets and we could both go or we could go as a group you know with just a bunch of us I could get like four or five tickets it's the middle of the night and I was asleep what were you dreaming about no don't hang up on me come on I had some more propositions for her I want to sing Elton John songs with her. You have reached the voice. <sighs> All right. Please leave your message. Uh, I don't know about this list. I'm starting to have second thoughts about this list. Maybe I should move on to something else. Maybe I should have had a backup plan. Maybe I should just call gas stations, convenience stores, get people to get clerks to wake people up by clapping in their face. Please leave your message for... Maybe. Hello? 
Hey, uh, this is Roy. It's, um, I saw your ad that you were looking for some Marvel and DC action figures. Yeah. Um, I've got quite a few. I've got quite the collection. Um, my son just died, um, you know, about oh. 12 or 13 hours ago. So I was thinking I could make some money. Because he's, he's got all this shit. Now I'm just tired of it taking up space in the house. It's got, like, all kinds uh. of, like, both Marvel and DC and baseball cards. He's into it all. I, I'm sorry for your loss. Ah, psh, whatever. Just, you know, got three others. He was my least favorite. <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> Body's still Your warm. call has been forwarded to an automated voice message. Your call has been forwarded God to an automated... Looking for a property with pole barn. Uh, I just don't know what to do with these these wanted ads, you know? Like, if they're selling something, it's easier. Like, did he find a property with a pole barn? Holy shit, King Richard, you're up late. What will the people at work think if you're all dreary-eyed in the morning? Hello? Hello? Oh, hello? hello? Sir? Hey. Hello? Hey. Hi oh, thank God you answered. Um, Were you sleeping? Yeah. What were we dreaming about? No! No, 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 no! I wasn't trying to get rid of him. Ah, oh, let me try him back. Fuck. Alright, I, I gotta I gotta cut out the dreaming thing. I gotta cut that out. I had a question all ready for him. Hi, this is Sue. Please leave a message. Ah, oh, fucking Sue. Alright. At the tone, please re- Ah. Uh, yeah, King Richard, um, like, it, they just, for some, they say three hours a day, but they actually mean three hours at a time. I don't know if they would limit you if you did that all day. Maybe you actually get nine hours a day. I'm not sure. All I know is it was the same way when we had tw 12 hours a day on the PC and Mixler. Um... You know, we just reset the stream and keep broadcasting. They didn't care. It's fine. They're not going to kick me off. I'm going to be doing six hours and 28 minutes more. This guy, Jim, he's uh, looking to haul away my trash and my junk. My trash and my junk, it says. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice. God damn it, Jim. Your call has been forwarded to... Well, fuck. Please leave your message for seven, three, four. <sighs> I think I need to move to another list. This one just isn't working out. Let's see what else I have. Wow, a list of blind people who have seen eye dogs. <laughs> no, they're on the East Coast too. Are they going to wake up? Bart has their full names, their addresses. Is it a hate crime to prank call blind people and say crazy things to him. He also wants me to use this as hold music. Being transferred to the next available agent. Suck a polar bear's funky ass. Oh, okay, he already sent me this. This is from Reggie, by the way. Suck a cheetah's dick. Yeah, do blind people sleep at all? Are they gonna fall down the stairs since they're groggy and can't see that well? Hmm. Hmm. Should I call blind people? What would I say to them? Let's see. All right, they're all in one state. So I'm going to go with kind of a central area code in that state. Plus 4206969. Oh, wait, did he have ideas for this? No, he did not. Just a, a short list of blind folks who use guide dogs. Thanks, Reggie. Fetus wants me to ask them if they want to go geocaching with me. Like, are blind people able to sleep? Because think about it, when they close their eyes, it's not like anything's changing. Everything's still dark like it always is. So how do they even know when they're asleep? Hello. Oh, hello. This is Dave. Um, I'm your neighbor. I live over here on, on the oak. You know, down, uh -huh. the, down the street. Uh-huh. 
Hey, um, I was just wondering, what were you dreaming about? Excuse me, why are you calling me at this time in the morning? Well, because that would be the time that you're dreaming, and um, oh, I'm please. doing a journal. Um, um, uh, I don't, I don't want to talk about oh, no, this. Please, ma'am, I, <laughs> please, what, like, were you dreaming about something, something you don't, you're just embarrassed about? No, I, I'm, I'm not talking to you. Sorry. No, please, I'm your neighbor. You know me. I'm Roy. I, I don't care. But why? <laughs> Well, so far the answer rate's pretty good on this one. So really, do they sleep? Do they do they just accidentally fall asleep when they're walking down the street? And they're like, oops, I didn't notice because it's still dark, just like it always is. So it seems like they'll just be awake, right? Or do they sleep less than non-blind people because because um, their senses are greater? You know, like they don't have the, the sense of sight, so that enhances their sense of hearing and, and touch and all that stuff. So maybe they just wake up at every little noise that they hear. They wake up a lot more, so they sleep worse. So they'll they'll wake up to their phones, to their phones ringing. That that's that's how it's gonna work. Hello. Hello. Uh, this is Roy, your neighbor. I live down the street, like way down there on Orange Street. Yeah. Um, I'm calling to find out what were you dreaming about. What the hell? No, it's Roy. You know me, right, Roy? I don't know you. I have the brown hair. What? Ma'am, look, I'm just, I'm doing a study. It's for school. Please tell me what you're dreaming about. Nothing. I'm on, I'm not asleep. Oh, you weren't asleep. I, I knew it. No, never mind. Um, like, why weren't you asleep? It's like in the middle of the night. How did you get my number? Um, we're, like we're we're I'm I don't the neighborhood directory, the phone book, the phone company brings me the phone book. No, like, you two times. No, you didn't. Two, my, my number is not published. Yes, it is. It's in the phone book. We get two phone books a year, and yours is in the second one. But no, I was just calling to find out what you're dreaming about. Like, like you don't have to be embarrassed. Like, just, just wondering. It's for it's for school. It's for a class. Uh -huh. All right. Was I an asshole to point out that I have brown hair <laughs> to a blind person? I think I was. I mean, how else would I describe myself? Like, uh, I I'm the one with the uh, the fair complexion, the 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 acne on my face. If you touch my face. You know, I have blind listeners, and I'm being kind of an asshole. I'm sorry, blind listeners. Don't hate me. Don't stop listening. But, you know, you should call into the voicemail and try and help us understand blind people a little bit better. Let us know if uh, you actually sleep ever, or if you all, all have narcolepsy. Should I tell them to clean up their damn yard? I've reached the butlers. We're not available currently. Because it's not like they could argue with me. They couldn't be like, oh, my yard looks fine. Oh, yeah? How would you know? I have reached the butlers. Well, shoot. I wonder if, like, okay, so a blind person, you know, a normal person would get up and they'd be all groggy and they'd, you know, it's dark in the house. They're stumbling around and, you know, stumbling down the stairs. And sometimes they fall down the stairs trying to get to the phone. But a blind person, they don't have that issue. So they're, they're going to be just, like, like, hopping around, doing parkour all over everything they just don't give a shit they'd be like they're they're like the uh um <laughs> what's that guy oh never mind i can't think of his name you know the the blind superhero guy it's been a while since i watched that i think all blind people are like that guy though right what the hell alex alex had a really good point in there and i was about to point it out and then he deleted the message what an asshole alex what, what's your problem arbitrary alex or maybe that was somebody else. I don't know. But like he was saying, like, um, do, do they see different um, races or different, like, are, are blind people capable of racism? But then I guess he was uh, ashamed of the question and, and deleted or something. I don't think blind people can, can be racist. I think basically uh, our uh, eyes are basically evil because they make us racist. How do they know if their kids are asleep? Good question, Azmat. Azmat. Turn your call, though. Oh, Lois, come on. Let me try Lois one more time. 
Oh, yeah, but good question. How do they know when their kids are asleep? Like, they can't just look in the room and see, oh, yep, they're sleeping. They have to go over to the bed and start, like, poking around at them. And that's going to wake them up. That's a whole problem. I need to get on Reddit and find an AMA with a blind person. Hi, this is Lois. Get some I'm questions here. answered. All right, Lois isn't going to pick up. Next, we've got Donna. Yes, Arbitrary Alex, I would love to hear a fun fact about blind people. So Arbitrary Alex claims that blind people from birth see the absence of color when they close their eyes. We see black as we aren't blind. How would they know if their eyes are closed or not? They can't see. That's my question. That's not Alex's thing. We don't know what the absence of color actually is. Wrap your mind around that one. Okay, Alex, you enjoy that marijuana you're smoking. Sounds like it's some good shit. I thought white was the absence of color. Or is that black? I wonder if I could... If I could tell a blind person to stop looking at me all the time. <laughs> like, I'm your neighbor, and every time I, I'm walking by, I'm walking my dog, you're always just looking at me. You just stop looking at me. It's very rude of you. Being kind of an asshole. Ah, Richard's not going to pick up. We're going to try Roger. Hello? Hello? Roger? Yes? Oh, hey, Roger. It's it's your neighbor. It's Roy. My neighbor? Yeah, Roy. I live down the street. I'm on... Drive. Um, I was wondering, okay. like, did you happen to find my wallet in your yard? Uh, no, I haven't really been in the yard lately. Okay, I just, I, I haven't seen it in over a day, and I was over in your yard last night, about three in the morning, watering your trees. Okay. And, yeah, my, I think I may have dropped my wallet in your yard. Uh, did you take a look today, or? No, no, I was just wondering if maybe you found it. I, I I'll, I usually, uh, come by your house on on Mondays and water your trees. But I guess I could come by tomorrow night and take a look and see if it's around. Okay. Yep, when I'm watering the trees again, I could... I, I don't know. That, uh, I just... Uh, I, I don't know what to do. You know, I lost my wallet. I'm pretty sure it might be in the middle of your backyard. Okay. Okay. Uh. Out of curiosity, how did you get this number? Uh, I looked in the phone book. Oh, I'm in the phone book? I think so, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's right here. <laughs> okay. Yep, it, it, lists, it lists by street. So uh, I just looked on the street, and there it was, right there in the phone book. Okay. Page 361. Okay. <laughs> or go ahead and look tomorrow. Or well, you can still come and look. I'm, you know. Yeah. If you want. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um. Sounds good. Hey, can you turn up the water pressure on your outside hose? Uh, Does it go up any higher, or is that it? I have no idea. Huh. Okay. All right. I was just wondering because. Takes forever to water your trees. Okay. I, I'll ask the others about it, but oh, I won't see them. Yeah. Hey, do you want to go to strip club? Uh, no. <laughs> All right. It doesn't hurt to ask, you know, like I, I used to have a friend that I went to the strip clubs a lot and he got married and his wife won't let him go anymore. So I'm just looking for a new friend to go to the strip clubs with me. Okay. But okay. So that's a no. All right. I'm going to write that down. I won't ask you again. All right. All right. Have a nice night. Right, oh, wait, do. I'm sorry, wait, one more thing. What were you dreaming about? I wasn't. Oh, were you asleep? No. 
Why weren't you asleep? It's like it's it's two in the morning or something, isn't it? Like three? Yeah, it's almost three. Yeah. Don't you sleep? Yeah. Just in the daytime. But, uh... <laughs> Sometimes. What were you dreaming about last night? Or I guess, you know, yesterday, not last night, yesterday. When you were last sleeping. What's the last dream you can remember? I don't remember. Oh, come on. You remember. Don't be embarrassed. No, don't remember. <sighs> That's what they all say. Okay. If you don't want to tell me, I mean, just, just tell me you don't want to tell me. See, I'm embarrassed. I don't remember. I don't remember my dream. It was a sex dream. I'm embarrassed. I don't want to tell you. No, I don't really remember my dream. Yeah. Okay. Well, didn't didn't hurt to ask. All right. Um. Thank you very much. I'll come by tomorrow and look for my wallet. Okay. All right. Have a nice night. Okay. Goodbye. That was completely boring. The guy would not react. Arbitrary Alex wanted me to ask him if he wants to go see a movie with me. You know, I worked in a movie theater and we had blind people coming in there. You know, just sit down and listen to the movie. Good times. This one theater I worked at, we had these uh, infrared transmitter things. Wait, no, am I thinking the wrong way? Oh no, those were for uh, people who had hearing problems. Yeah, never mind. They were like headphones you could uh, you could put on. And I had to mount this transmitter thing outside the projector booth window to, like, beam down the the movie even louder into their headphones. Not many people use those, though. I'm sorry, Mr. Biggs. I didn't ask, uh, I didn't ask Roger to come home. Sorry. Have you guys ever turned on commentary mode in, on Netflix? That's what I was thinking it was at the movie theater, where they describe everything that's happening. Hello. That's hilarious. You have reached nine... Hello. Hello. Uh, this is Roy. I'm your neighbor. Excuse me. I think you've got the wrong number. No, I'm your neighbor. Is this Debbie? Yeah. Yeah, I live down the street on 21st Avenue. Oh, okay. How you doing? Fine. What time is it? Oh, who knows? I don't know. Do you? No. Hell if I know. Yeah, I was just, um, I was wondering if you may have found my, um, my wallet, I think I left it in your yard. No, I do think you have the wrong number. No, I haven't seen your wallet, Roy, and I hope you find it soon. Okay. Bye-bye. Well, no, I was in your yard. <laughs> I knew her name. Why does she think I have the wrong number? That doesn't make sense. Did you notice that previous guy said he's going to go out and look tomorrow for my wallet? Is that just an expression for him? Hello, we are not available now. Please. Angry guy wants me to say I'm going to feed a herd of sheep on their lawn. Okay. Hello, we are not available now. I wonder if they have issues like locating their phone next to the bed. Tom? Tom? Hello. Oh, hello, Tom? Yeah. Hey there, it's it's Roy with the city of Northport. Why are you calling me at this hour? I'm sorry, I tried to call you during the daytime, but you wouldn't pick up. I'm sorry to call so late. Um, I'm calling to let you know we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be um, having having a bunch of sheep in your yard tomorrow morning about six a.m. Uh, we're gonna have basically a petting zoo in your yard, and the mayor is gonna be there. You're on, a, you're on a drive, right? Tom? 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 Can you hear me? Tom? Tom? I can hear you. Okay, you're not saying anything in return, though. Uh, so tomorrow morning, about 6 in the morning, we're going to have a a bunch of sheep and goats mostly in your front lawn. We'll, ha we'll have a pin up for them. 
So I'm just letting you know about this so you're not concerned about it. There's going to be a petting zoo in your front lawn. And the mayor's going to be giving a speech. And that. Tom? Hello? Yes, we understand that. Okay, so tomorrow morning, 6 a.m., they're going to come and set up the pins for the goats and the sheep. And it's going to be like a petting okay. zoo. Okay. Okay, and the mayor is going to be there. He's going to use your front porch. And some of the reporters may need to use the restroom. Is that is that going to be a problem? Um, no, but we don't have a front porch. Oh, well, you know the front front door area. Because he's going to set up okay. a, a, po a podium and give a speech and stuff. The mayor is. Mayor McClure. Okay. All right. And it'll probably just last till about um, 3 or 4 in the afternoon. There's going to be a lot of kids stopping by to, to pet the animals. All righty. Right. All righty. Thank you. Um, Ma'am, is this Tom's wife? Yes. Okay, what were you dreaming about? Go away. What? No, no, ma'am. It's, it's a serious question. It's for my report. I need to know. I have to write it down. Ma'am? 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 Ma'am, are you going to have some... Okay. Oh, well. She was fine with the goats and the sheep and everything. And she told me to go away when I just asked her a simple question about dreams. We're getting a call coming in. You're on the air. Who's calling? Hey, Brad. Hey. King Richard here. Hello, King Richard. Just calling in, just calling in with the listener count update. You are currently holding steady at 15. Oh. one five. 15 listeners. Can you point out that that is significantly less than how many listeners you had? This is a plummet from the 20 plus that Carl and I had not more than an hour ago. Hmm. I wonder what happened. What did I do wrong? Hmm. You, you, you got to step up your game. Still I did, at 15, by the way. I did start the show with Sammy Hagar. I think that could have been like a turnoff for a lot of people. Yeah. Yeah. That might have did it. That could be one factor. Yeah. Holding steady, 15. Go ahead. Um, what time is it? It is now 12.01 a.m. That is Pacific Standard Time. All right. It is Wednesday, July 17th. All righty. 15 listeners. Thank you. 15 listeners, everyone. Have a good show, Brad. Thanks. Thanks, King Richard. Oh. Holding steady, 15 listeners. All right. King Richard out. All right. Thank you for the update. Looks like we currently have 15 listeners, everyone. It's now approximately 3.02 a.m. on the Eastern Time Zone. Oh, no. King Richard said it's about to drop to 14. He's going to bed. What an asshole. Hi. Sorry, we can't come to the phone oh, right now, come but on. if you'd be with some... Katie, don't be like that. Hello? Hello, Katie? It's Roy from the, the city of Port Orange. Yes. Hey, I, I'm calling to let you know we're going to be, um, I, I tried to call earlier. I'm, so, I'm sorry to call so late. Um, but we're going to be, um, we're going to be uh, opening up a petting zoo on your front lawn uh, early this morning. We're going to start about six in the morning with that. Why? Uh, we're, it's just the, the mayor is going to be there. Uh, it's going to be goats and sheep mostly. The kid, there's going to be a lot of kids stopping by to pet them, and the mayor's going. On gonna, my front lawn. Yes, the mayor's wow. going to give a speech right around noon, and it's just going to be an all-day thing. That's all. I don't really like the idea of this. Yeah, well, they're, we're going to clean it up and everything. You know, well, we'll, I don't really want my lawn messed up and my flowers messed up. Oh, it won't be messy. It'll be fine. Um. You know, we're just we're gonna. Why are you calling me at at two o'clock in the morning? Well, we tried to call earlier and you wouldn't pick up. 
But we're going to put like little fences up all in, in your yard, several pins, one for the sheep, one for the goats. Um, I think they're going to do some... Are you doing this in the whole neighborhood? Oh, no, just your front lawn. Just your front lawn only. And there's going to be a podium up on your sidewalk. That's where the mayor is going to stand and give his speech. And there's also going to be a caterer's table. Is this a crank call? No, no, ma'am. I'm with the city of Port Orange. <laughs> I could not help laughing. I'm sorry. Uh, okay. Kenny Loggins is going to be there, says Candy Flipping. Well, King Richard just missed my favorite call of the night so far. Sucks to be King Richard. Don't leave, Alex. Alex, this next one is going to be the best one. You don't want to miss this next one, Alex. Don't leave. Don't leave. Don't leave yet. You got to wait for this next, like, one more person to answer. It's going to be the best one. I promise. Don't. Oh, oh, it hung up. Hold on, hold on. Here, here, here she comes. She's. Oh, it's busy now. Fuck. All right. I'm, I'm gonna have to call her cell phone number. Hello. Please leave a message after the. All right. Don't go away yet, Alex. Um, th this one for sure. Th this is the one. This is gonna be the good one. Yep. Six hours and no, 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 not fifty-two minutes. Your math is wrong. Mike's gonna pick up the phone though. It's like five hours and 58 minutes. No, five hours and eight minutes. Five hours, six hours and eight minutes. No, that's not right. 58 minutes. Oh, yay, Snappy Bakes just got here. That makes up for uh, King Richard, even though it seems like I'm down to 13 listeners. Welcome to the show, Snappy Bakes. Okay, don't, don't leave yet, Arbitrary Alex, because we're calling Janice. Oh, shit. Shit. All right, Mixler just popped up a, a notification and it said 10 minutes remain. Only 10 minutes. What What the hell, Mixler? They're enforcing it now? Does this mean we can't broadcast tomorrow? Hi. Hello? I can't come to the phone right ah, now. Ah, Janice, you <laughs> tricked me. Um, yeah. What, why? Why? <laughs> fuck. I only have 10 minutes left, apparently, unless I want to go on Facebook or something, and that's... No, I don't think a disconnect and a reconnect will do anything, because I've only been on for an hour and 14 minutes. But maybe it will, because we're after midnight. Shit. Fucking Mixler. We're gonna have to pay for the, uh... Hey, Arbitrary Alex, don't go anywhere, because there's only 10 minutes left. You know, you may as well stay for the entire 10 minutes. Of the rest of the show, I was going to go on for seven hours, but fuck. I'm starting to get less answers anyway. Why are you doing this to me, Mixler? Okay, I see like a countdown on the Mixler app, you know, like on the screen, and it's, I've got seven minutes left, everyone. Seven minutes. Just seven minutes. I don't know if I can make a call happen in, in seven minutes. Come on, Andrea, pick up. Pick up, pick up. Fuck. Hello. We are not available now. Please. They've never done this before. We've 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 done this multiple times in the past. You know, they they should be giving us extra time this month after all that that fiasco a month ago. They shouldn't be treating us like this. They're going to do this now? Oh, hey, I'm almost done with the blind list. Hello? Hello, uh, Mr. Yeah. It, it's uh, Roy. I'm with the city of Daytona Beach. Roy from the city of Daytona Beach. Yeah. Hey, I'm sorry what, to be I'm what? sorry to be calling so late. I'm really sorry. Um Yeah, Roy. Uh, what's up? So I was supposed to send Kenny Loggins to the mayor's house, you know, Mayor Mayor McClure. And um, we accidentally uh, gave him your address instead. So Kenny Loggins is going to be knocking on your door in a minute. You know the the music star? No, I don't know who you're talking about, guy. Uh, Kenny Loggins. You might he, have the wrong... Kenny Loggins. Yeah, he... You he, might have the wrong crutch. No, you he... You might was, have the wrong crutch. Well, do you live at 123 Drive? 
Uh, 123? No, this is 175. I know. That's the problem. Because we, the, the, we were supposed to send him to 123, and we sent him to 120, 175. So he's going to be at your house. If you could just let him know to go to 123 instead. Um, you, you don't know who he is. Yeah, you don't know who he is. He had like about you know 20 hit songs in the 1980s and 1990s. He's an internationally recognized Grammy-winning music star. You, the Danger uh, Zone. Who, Kenny? The Danger Zone guy, Kenny Loggins. No, I think I've heard of him. Yeah, Danger Zone, Highway. I don't get out. I don't. Highway. Yeah, I don't get out much. Highway to the highway Danger to, Zone. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's playing. He's going to be knocking at my door. Yeah, he's going to be playing a concert at the park tomorrow, and we told him to go to your house, so he's taking the Uber <laughs> to your your house. And you want him to go to 123. Yeah, yeah. Is he out there yet? Can you go check? You let me check. Do you know, you. The, you know the Footloose song? <laughs> Gotta cut loose. Footloose. Thanks. Put on your... Mayor and shit's here. Who are you talking no, to? No, there's no one here. Ah, okay. He should be showing up any minute in his Uber. And his band's going to be showing up separately in a van. So you're going to get two knocks, two knocks at the door. Uh, Does he, this mean we get a free ticket? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, just ask him. He'll probably give it to you. But can he use your bathroom? Because the last time I talked oh, to him, hell he, yeah. he really had to use the bathroom. Oh, yeah. Okay. Kenny Loggins or whoever. Uh, yeah, yeah, why not? Um, oh, you, yeah. You don't have any, like, uh, prescription medication in there, do you? You might want to take that out. <laughs> well, it's just kidding. this has gotten to be a joke. <laughs> no, like you know these rock stars. Uh, uh, no, I'm just saying, like, just uh, <laughs> if he does come in to use the bathroom, just just run in there real mm. quick and just remove anything that's uh, that'll that he might want to take. Yep. Yeah, sure. Is he out there yet? Yes. Is he out there? No, no. Can you go? Can you go stand on the edge of the sidewalk so you can flag him down when he starts to drive up? I guess I could. Okay, <laughs> right, right now. Can you stay on the phone? I'll, I'll listen. Are you on a cordless? Yeah. Are you in the cell phone or a cordless? No uh, cell phone. Okay, even better. Yep, go stand out there. Are you in your PJs? Yeah. <laughs> Do they like? Are they pants? Pants? There's, PJs? Like they got pants? Like you're not gonna get in trouble, are you? Oh yeah, yeah. No, no. Um, That's good. I'm fully clothed. <laughs> Man, I hope he gets there in the next two minutes. I've only got two minutes left on Mixler. The 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 count the, have, the timers counting like I said, down. Uh, I don't get out much. I have no idea what that is. All right. Can you look both ways? Are you out in the street yet? Yes. Hi. Uh, you see me? Oh, no, no. I'm not there. I, I'm, I'm like I'm, <laughs> I'm at the mayor's office. You're at the mayor's office. Yeah, I had to rush to the mayor's office to get your uh, information so I could call and let you know that Kenny Loggins is on the way to your house. <laughs> Why are you laughing about this? <laughs> You gotta be kidding me! No, you, you got me out in the middle of the night in my PJs outside, saying some Kenny Loggins dude is coming to my house. Or are you, are you looking? Do you see him coming down the street? He's in a, a Saturn. Okay, have a good. All a, right, have a good night. A Saturn neon. Bye bye. Don't don't a Saturn ion. I mean. Yes. Okay. Bye bye. Lo, do you like? Do you see any cars coming? Do you see me? What does that mean? Why is he saying that? Okay, you guys, I have 40 whatever seconds. I don't think I'm going to get another call in, so we're going to end with the chipmunks. Here it is. That is the moment we needed the most. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's the moment we needed the most. Hey, Brad, uh, this is Chaos Cowboy calling in from sunny Indianapolis. Hello. Uh, you haven't posted anything on your website in about six days. What? As of today, you don't say. Which leads me to conclude the only possible conclusion uh, 
I checked the news today. I didn't see anything about it, but I'm assuming that the FBI raided your house again and you were killed in the ensuing gun battle. How'd you know? Uh, this phone call is me calling in to pay my respects. Letter F. Pay F. Press F. To pay respects. Thanks. Bradley Carr, you had a good life. Thank you. I and appreciate it. to be honest, it. you're probably going to die soon anyways. So if you're going to go yeah. out, you might as well go out and blame That's the glory. That's Yeah, this message was left on July 8th. So I guess on July 8th, I hadn't posted anything in six days on my website. But guess what? If you were a member of the Patreon, I bet you I'd posted stuff on there. I guess that just means you should sign up on the Patreon. Hey, Brad. Matt the wait. manager here. Hey, Matt. I had a fever dream again. I was uh -oh. thinking to myself how fun it would be. If you've ever... What were you dreaming about? Preface this. Have you ever read the book uh, Ready Player One? Yes. Or watched the movie? I haven't watched I have. the movie. I've done both. But I think it would be an amazing idea for you to have some grand um, treasure hunt. And it all starts with something obscure, like hacking into one of your many, many, many uh, tape recorders. And uh, hack in there, get some like coordinates to some random place. And I don't know how it would be. I'm not that smart. That'd be fun. Somebody else can figure that out. You can figure that out. Okay. And then send people on a wild goose chase across all America, right. ending in Roy, New Mexico. Anyway. Just an idea. Great idea. Well. No area code game this time. No, oh, thank you. I appreciate it. I was actually thinking about doing a scavenger hunt one of these days. A few years ago, a friend and I organized a scavenger hunt here in Albany, Oregon, and it was like photo based. They didn't have to find items or bring items back, really. They just had to take pictures and bring the pictures back to us. And we judged all the pictures and we handed out medals. It was a lot of fun. I think I could make that work on the internet, though. You know, just broadcast the entire day on Mixler or Facebook or YouTube or whatever and send out a bunch of teams all over the country, all over the world and make them do crazy things. Like on the scavenger hunt we did, we had people like going into the police station and getting photographs with cops and the cops were really nice about it. They were taking photos with these people. Uh, one of the items was to uh, get a photo of somebody illegally using their cell phone while driving their car. People brought that back. I can't remember the others. I still have the list somewhere. But I seriously want to give that a try one of these days. I want to try and do a scavenger hunt on Mixler. What do you guys think? And maybe, just like Matt the Manager just said, one of the items could be hacking into an answering machine to get a code or whatever. I don't know. Maybe I should wait until I'm off of probation before I start organizing massive teams across the country to do crazy things in public. But someday, I'm going to do that. Hey, so I was just wondering what the inspiration for your uh, lube job calls were, where you, like, say that you left something in somebody's car. Have you ever gotten calls from, like, the auto shop saying they left something in your car? You just, uh, I don't know, I just got one of those calls, and it just kind of was weird and reminded me of the <laughs> of the show. And I was wondering... Well, what'd they leave in there? Their weed pipe? You ever make calls inspired by like real life events oh yeah because uh, that's what i like to do when i like to call people and mess with them all the time i just find myself uh referring halfway to uh things that actually happen to me yeah yeah all I right think, thanks i think Bye. everybody does that when they do prank calls but i don't know what inspired the leaving a weed pipe in someone's car i don't know if a listener suggested that on a live show which is very possible. I did a lot of live shows back then on those lube job calls, or maybe that was just something random that I came up with, but I don't think anyone's ever left anything in my car. I mean, except for the car thief who stole my car stereo and everything. He left a screwdriver in there. That was a little weird. I still have the screwdriver in my car. I keep it in the toolbox. It's my memento of having my windows broken. Hey, Brad, I just got done listening to your old show. Um, this is Red Eagle Cobra, the one with the Carol and Brad calling yeah, people honestly that, that was one of your greatest shows ever i mean the, you. <laughs> you definitely got the one guy who had the wife that you was a little the high school thing and you said you were in sixth grade when you were dating her or something oh, yeah. like that that was funny you're quick-witted uh on your feet <laughs> it was just really hilarious so i uh, do more of those kind of shows because they're really funny i will but, all right bye man i forgot that show happened so long ago we're still on july 9th voicemails i've got a lot of i'm really behind on voicemails right now i've been slacking off on these voicemails i'm mike believe just calling to say hello 
Hello. I was listening to your podcast and thought I would just call and say hello and hope everything is okay. All right. And I would like to take this opportunity to say hello to Stephen Aspinwall and Lunch Lady. All right. What I say? Stephen right. Aspinwall and Lunch Lady. Thanks for playing music as you left a voicemail. That's always nice. Hey, Brad. It's Crazy Calvin. So between being on vacation and at work uh, full time, I managed to get almost a month behind on the Snowplow show, Mm -hmm. but I've had the last three days off, and so I've been doing nothing but listening to the Snowplow show, and I just finished the uh, most recent episode as of me calling you right now, the uh, Cross Lines episode. All right. And uh, with how you were using the scripts that you're reading from, it gave me an idea. You should do a similar thing with uh, the people you're calling, except with song lyrics, where it's like a type of song where it's like two people talking. For example, um, The Fighter by Keith Urban, it starts out with uh, the woman asking, what if I fall? And then he says, I'll never let you fall. And then she replies with, what if I cry? So, okay. <laughs> for example, you call someone and you I ask, get it. I get what it. if I fall? And then... But we don't sing, right? You say whatever they're going to say, and then you ask, what if I cry? Yeah. And you just keep going with it until they catch on to what you're doing. Song lyrics. Anyway. That's what we'll do. Cactus, cactus. Rat! This is Smegma calling. Hey. Thanks for doing the blind uh, customer calls. Blind I thought that was customer pretty calls. Funny. Oh, those things. Those blind customer calls. Uh, I thought you could do a twist on that, by the way. Um, calling some places, whether it's a neighborhood, stores, whatever. Yep. And pretending that you're hard of hearing. And the twist is that you're calling people and you keep telling them to raise their voice because you can barely hear them, telling them that you're hard of hearing. But in the background, you're playing things like a smoke alarm going off or a crying baby. Yeah. And you're trying to get them to notice and tell you, you by the way, you know, what is up with a screaming baby or, you know, did you know your smoke alarm is going? What? I don't have a baby. So just uh, some wacky scenarios there. I thought you might enjoy that. Why not? Take it easy. That could be fun. Hey, Brad. Uh, This is Lex Ork. First time calling. Um, Hello. You should see my name uh, pop up as a sponsor. Oh, yay. Thanks. Um, And uh, I just uh, wanted to say thank you. This uh, has become my favorite podcast since um, the Bone Zone was taken off the air a couple years ago. Yeah, they're the ones that started the "Do You Know Who Jason Siegel Is?" They're they're bringing uh, it back. They claim he made that big post on Reddit and then he never followed through. It's just in one of their episodes, there. and then it branched out to its own podcast, which I know you listen to. Um, and uh, I just wanted to say uh, a little piece of advice. Um, whenever you're talking to someone, uh, especially a guy that sounds kind of southern. Uh, Slightly mention, uh, like, you know, like, oh, my boyfriend wouldn't approve of that. Or just, you know, say something about, like, oh, you have a boyfriend. Don't make it too obvious, but I feel like that could really, really piss some people off. Yeah. Um, thank you for everything, Brad. Especially I- those radio station people. The people that try to sell things on radio stations, like on the country stations. I love your show so much. It's incredible. Oh, shucks. Hope I kept this under 30 seconds. No, you did uh, not. Cactus, cactus. One minute and three seconds. It's okay, though. Hey, Arby, it's the Duelist. Hey, hey, I was listening to uh, one of the shows, and somebody called in about uh, the episode where uh, Dwight was saying, I'm just a guy with a mop and a condom. Is that the one, it was like the art of fun larking, where you guys did, like, a, it was like a ho- or choose-your-own-adventure type thing with the, the one girl, and uh, you had her run through a cemetery, and then Dwight cornered her, and they... Uh, in a bathroom and uh, was like uh, jerking off or something. I don't know. It was hilarious. Um, I don't know what episode it was. I just listened to it a, not too long ago on YouTube, but uh, that might that might help that person. So, yeah, okay. Love the show. That, that's, Butterfly Kisses. That does sound like something that would happen on The Art of Phone Larking. And we were usually all together on that show back when Gia did that. You can listen to those on youtube.com slash jesus in a dump truck i think they're all up there or maybe they're just clips i'm not sure but yeah a person searching for that maybe that's where you should look hey arby it's the duelist again oh I found god that damn episode. it it's called halloween phone game oh uh, shit it's called art of phone larking and dwight says it at five minutes and 50 seconds but 
I suggest everyone listens to that whole thing because it's freaking hilarious. Holy like, shit! Through the entire thing, it was awesome. Okay. All right, butterfly kisses later. We just we just found it apparently. Let me go to youtubecom slash Jesus in a dump truck. I see a 19 minute video called Halloween Phone Game, and he said to go to about five minutes and 50 seconds. Hello. Hi, is this Zabreen? Yes. That that's inappropriate. Um, yeah, so that's inappropriate. Okay. So, Here Dwight, she tells you that is inappropriate. Inappropriate? I'm a man with a mop, and I've got a used condom. What do you say? There's your choice. What do you say? What the fuck is this? I'm going to keep walking. Okay. She turns <laughs> your back to you, Dwight, and then she keeps walking. I remember this. We were playing, like, Dungeons and Dragons or something. Man, I miss the art of phone larking. That was a good show. Giad, you really need to bring that back. And if you haven't heard Giad's old show, The Art of Phone Larking, you should be listening to those. It went on for, I don't know, maybe a year and a half. And I have all of his shows, but I think they're also all on his YouTube. Hopefully it's not just clips. YouTube.com slash Jesus in a Dump Truck. It was on three or four years ago, so go look for those. And holy shit, we found it! Hopefully the person that was looking hears this episode. Hi, Brad. I was just calling to see if maybe you could help me out with Carol's number. Oh, Carol's taken. Um, I don't know, man. She sounds pretty hot. Carol's a married woman. And I think I've given you enough time to make your move and it doesn't sound like you've done it. So, I mean, if you go me up with those digits, brother. Appreciate it. Oh, sorry. Later. Carol is a happily married woman. She has five teenage boys and a very strong, healthy marriage where she spends most of it in the kitchen. So just leave her alone. Hey, this is Tom. First time caller, long time listener. Hey, Tom. I was just calling. You may remember me from the uh, sorry about those bumps cake that you had written for the person. Oh, Um, yeah. But I just wanted to call and say that I've been loving the show as of late. I've been listening to it at work. And uh, keep up the good work. Thank you. Thank you, Tom. I know the voicemails are going on way too long right now. But there's so many voicemails in here. I need to get through these. I need to catch up on these things. So, you know, the show's basically over. Just stop listening. If you hate the voicemails, nothing else is going to happen. I'm just playing voicemails. Oh, hey, RBCP. This is uh, Great Big Pete calling from Canada. Hey, Great Big Pete. Oh, you don't have a Canada phone number. What the hell? Um, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm just calling to tell you guys and all your other little uh, internet, um, you know, phone freaks. Yep, little to internet. Check out the podcast Darknet Diaries, episode 42, Mini Stories, volume 2. It was released on July 9th. I wonder what's on it. There's a really, really interesting first story and special about Dave Kennedy and how he was doing penetration testing. Mm, (laughs) Penetration testing. Anyways, I won't spoil it anymore, but he talks about social engineering. So uh, there you go. Hugs and kisses. He talks about corporate office. I love corporate office calls. Yeah, who doesn't? Bye. Bye, great big Pete. Yeah, that's a good show. Darknet Diaries. Everybody should listen to that. That's the podcast that did an episode on Skunkworks recently, and they've done other things on hacking and weird phone stuff. It's fun to listen to. I highly recommend that one. Hey, look, I got a call coming in on my cell phone from a suspected scam caller. Let's see who it is. Hello? Hello? Hi, can I speak Bradley Carter? Oh, hey, this is Bradley. Who's this? Is this Joe? Joe, well, my name is Joe, what are you doing? Like, you, I have not talked to you in like, what, eight years or something? Holy fucking well, shit. Is, uh, what? I'm calling you from Stephen. And uh, before I proceed with my information, uh, for the security reason, last four digits of your social is it nine. From, is correct? from the security UN, what is it? For the verification, the last four digits of your social is nine. Is that oh, well, I didn't hear where you're calling from. Where are you calling from? It's Unifin. U- UNICEF? Like the, the, the charity thing? Like for the kids? U- U-N-I-F-I-N. U-N-I-F-I-N. What's that mean? What's it stand for? The last four digit of your social is nine. Is that correct? No, but no. What's U-N-I-F-N-I stand for? What's it stand for? Tell me. It's a diversified company which deals in different businesses. It's a, no, no, it has to be specific. But, like, what's the acronym mean? You uh, in... Will you identify yourself first? You you in... No, 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 you, you like... I thought this was yeah. Joe. You sound like Joe. 
my friend Joe. I think uh, you're not interested uh, to go ahead and uh, let me disclose the information. Okay. So thank you so much for having a great day. No, do it. Do it. Disclose it. Let's. Ah, oh, fuck. He was actually giving out the correct last four of my social. He has my social security number. I really wanted to find out what that scam was. Hey there, Roy Bencho Cactus Prankster. Hey. It's your main man, Rico Rizox here, man. Mm -hmm. Show's going great. Hello. Listen to it all the time still. Thanks. Just calling in. Okay. Yeah, just wanted to say what's up and all that good stuff. All right, yeah, what's my, up? Earlier I called my nephew. What's up with you? We had a, a good conversation for a while, and right when he was going to hang up, I was like, hang up the phone instead of just saying bye. And he was like, you hang up the phone, and I did not expect that response. Yeah. Well, we ended a, up uh, just it's having a primal a instinct. About it's what that is. an hour and a half. It was grueling. What? We started off playing games an hour after an hour of talking. We were like, well, you, get, get a man. life, Rico Rocks. What the hell? Doing hang up the phone for an hour and a half with your cousin? The hell are you doing? Hi, Brad. My name is Moses from Ottawa, Ontario. Hello. I was uh, listening to your shows, and I noticed that um, you have a you set up your multi-track recorder very well. Why, thank but you. But I was wondering, can you turn down the volume on certain calls from the person who is the recipient so that you can do your Carol and Brad calls to each other back and forth without them interrupting your speech? Because I noticed when they speak, hello, hello, it's me, that it interrupts your, your thought process of the bit. Well, yeah. Um, also, uh, just real quick, I thought it was funny years and years ago, I don't think it was a snowplow show, where you got really upset that someone stole your weed and you said, give me back my weed. Give it back. Could you do something like that again? I found that funny whenever you get mad. Take what? care, Brad. Love you lots. Bye. What was that? Was I like banging on my desk or something because I was so angry about my weed? But yeah, I'll try to do that again. And I don't actually have real multi-track stuff set up here. I am just recording into the left channel and the right channel separately. Just a normal stereo track. So the phone caller's on one side, I'm on the other side. That's how I'm doing the voicemails right now too. So I can adjust the sound levels independently and bring up the volume on some of the voicemail callers. So basically when I'm doing a call, I hear the callers in one side of my ear and I hear myself on the other side. And I guess if I didn't want to hear the caller, I could just, you know, remove one of my headphones and I would barely hear them at all. But I want to hear them. I want them to interrupt so we can be all confused. I guess if I'm going to do one where we pretend not to hear them, I could do that, though. Take off one side of my headphones. That's what I'll do. Are you there, Brad? No. It's me, Patrick. It's a voicemail. Long-time listener. Idiot. Full-time baller. Whoa. And just like Crimson said, I think it was the last show. Summer's about halfway over. It is. We're about halfway done with it. We need more lawn care calls. Oh, yeah. Lawn care it calls. It's hilarious. So please... So hooking us up, Brad. Okay. All right, man. All right. God bless. Lawn care Bye -bye. calls. I'm going to do that. I promise more lawn care calls very soon. I've kind of forgotten about those. I've been doing way too many yard sale calls lately. Hola, Brad. It's Christine. Hey. So I just got back from Mexico, and I got a chance to catch up, and holy shit, the cross wires calls, amazing. Thanks. Listen, it's my birthday next week, and I just want one thing. I know, I know, I'm sorry. You don't have to do it, but I just want one thing. Can you just make one call of hang up the phone? I don't care how it goes. I don't care if they just hang up on you. Okay. It just makes me happy. All right. All right. Keep it up. I'll talk to you later. I'll Bye. do my best. That call. Oh, wait, duh, no, no, no. What? I didn't hear what she just said. But that call came in on Friday. Today's Wednesday. I probably missed her birthday and didn't do the hang up the phone. But at least you got to hear about how Rico rocks argued with his cousin about hanging up the phone for an hour and a half. That's practically the same thing. But I will try and do a hang up the phone call soon. Okay, 30 seconds. Hello, my name's Nestor. I'm calling from Howard Road and Broadway in Arizona off a payphone that I found on a Chevron. It works. Whoa. Holy crap. NBI Communications. Just call on, uh, see how everyone's doing today. NBI. What you doing? Isn't that what that guy that just called me on my cell phone said he was from? NBI something? Stop giving me snake eyes, motherfucker. Okay, sorry. That sounded pretty bad, all that buzzing and the microphone sounds like it's all gunked up with semen or something. Hey, it's Brandon from PA again. Hey, Brandon. I just wanted to say, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, Whoa. and fuck you. Whoa. Not, and just not, to make sure you not heard cool. that, fuck you. 
Um, I don't appreciate that, Brandon. I love your show. <sighs> Thank you. Have a good day. Bye. All right, you too. Bye. Three quick things, Brad. Okay. Hey, Brad. This is Crimson. Hello. Okay. First, people stop posting every single article that you find that includes the word Roy, Brad, or Cactus. Just because it has one of those words doesn't mean it's relevant to the phone losers group. Oh, okay? yeah. I totally agree. Okay. I delete so much shit from the group. And it's not even things that say Roy or Cactus or whatever. And it, it's just funny things like LOL, redneck humor. I don't know. Just, just stupid things that have nothing to do with prank calls or the community or anything. This isn't the group where you post funny shit. There's other groups for that, God damn it! I gotta do a shout out to Patrick. Okay, Patrick from the Fun Losers group on Facebook. And third, where's the Joy Bubbles documentary, Brad? Where's the Joy Bubbles oh, documentary? Oh, that, that lady just took our money and ran. That lady is a thief. You promoted it. You're liable. I know. Okay, take responsibility for once. All right, Brad? Bye. I'm sorry for promoting it because she promised that the Joy Bubbles documentary would be here in 2015. And then she went and, like, did not update the Kickstarter at all for two or three years. Like, nothing at all. No no updates, nothing on the Twitter, nothing on the Facebook. She was still active on Kickstarter because used to, you could see her profile. You could see that she was supporting Trump merchandise and stuff. But now, for some reason, she's made her Kickstarter profile private. She doesn't want people to see what she's doing. And I think she updated the Kickstarter. I'm too lazy to go check right now. But I think she updated it in December of 2018. And she's like, oh, everything's just coming along smoothly on this documentary thing. I swear to God, I promise. It's really happening. No need to think I'm lying or anything. Stay tuned for updates. And then that was the last thing we heard. That was eight months ago, if I'm correct about that being December. I called her out on it in some comments somewhere, and she never responded to me. I'm like, come on, just just an update, something, what's happening? And I looked into getting a refund. Kickstarter says, no, you can't have a refund. You supported it, just deal with the consequences. But I am pretty sure that the Joy Bubbles documentary isn't going to happen, even though she says it's coming along. Hopefully she proves me wrong and it does happen, but I am seriously sorry for promoting it and then, you know, nothing came of it because I think that was back in 2014 and I just don't know what happened. Or, I mean, I kind of think I know what happened. If you look on her IMDb page, this lady, Rachel Morrison, who set up the Kickstarter, her IMDb page shows that she's been very busy in 2017 and 2018 and 2019. But before those years, she didn't have any work at all. So my guess would be that she got caught up with real work. And she's just like, yeah, fuck this documentary thing. I'm doing real shit now. I'll get around to this Kickstarter thing one of these years. That's my guess, but I don't know. Hopefully it comes out. Hey, Brad, this is just a quick question. Um, I love the song that was in the intro of the last episode. Um, with that guy, like, ha, ha, he, ha, ha, oh, yeah. bastard. Um, do you remember where that call is from? I really want to listen to that call. Is that call from a specific, uh, do you remember what episode that's from? Uh, and is it clipped out on YouTube, like, on as, as its own call Here, somewhere? let me find, let me check. I'm going to do a search in my Dropbox for the word bastard. I can't have too many things with that word in it, right? Because I know it's from this, from this clip right here. Oh, uh, you're a sick bastard, Dave. Have a good day. I love you. I think it's from that, right? I could be wrong about that, but I think I'm right. And the date on that is October 28th, 2016, just a week or so before the FBI raid. But that's just the file date. You know, that could be a little bit off. There's no date in the actual file name. So I'm not sure exactly which show it's from. Maybe somebody else knows. But you know it's from something at least before October 28th 2016 oh wow it also pulled up a sound clip of the bastard cast intro i haven't heard that in forever let's listen to it bastard cast fuck yeah i miss that show that was one of my favorite podcasts back in the day and his work found out about his podcast and they said listen if you want to keep your job here you need to stop doing your podcast. 
and he had to shut down his podcast because he didn't want to lose his job. It's when podcasting was brand new. I don't know why I'm talking about this. None of you have heard of the Bastard Cast. I'm sure of that. I don't even have the archives of it. It's just hey, Brad, gone it's forever. Max Power. Uh, great hey, job as always. Hey, you Max Power. Up the great work. Thanks. I love what you do. Um, the Cow- Copper Pan Lady. Um, somebody should be make, make, making a remix of that song because that that just seems like a big opportunity <laughs> that somebody could do. Yeah. Also, what do you think? Yeah, make the drums like the you know the beat. Of this of uh, Area Fifty One raid is uh, anybody going to go to that? Anyway, uh, cactus, cactus. I hope they do. I hope they all show up there and they get shot like they should. That sounds hilarious. Brad. What? I've been going back and listening to Snow Paw Show episodes from 2014 lately, mm-hmm. which is when I first discovered it. Yep. I had left you a voicemail once back then, expressing in drunken, lewd terms that I had a crush on Gloria. I listening see. to these episodes has kind of reignited that sentiment. Because Gloria is a fucking sociopath, judging by all the messages she left you. I agree. And I have a significant specific trauma that attracts me to that personality type. Shit, I'm late for cactus practice. <laughs> okay, thanks for that one. Uh, I think I'm about done with the voicemails. I'm starting to see repeats because it's been so long. You know, people that have already left voicemails and I can't play them twice in an episode. That's crazy. Uh, I know I haven't played this guy, so let's make this one the very last voicemail. Brad, 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 Brad. Hey, knobby guy. Oh, oh, hi, Brad. Oh, my, my phone was making a weird noise there. That I was hear strange. it. Uh, I was going to say, see that? I love that number plate idea you were you were mentioning. I think you did. You get that in the chat room, and I was going to say, mm-hmm. I think there's yeah. a Scientology place. I think it was in California, and I I, I think. They, they had something installed in a tree, and it was a license plate reader, so I was kind of... <laughs> what? It just kind of ends? That may or may not have been in mid-sentence. I don't know for sure. Holy shit, I've been doing voicemails for 40 minutes now. I hope the voicemails don't end up being 30 minutes or something crazy after I finish editing. I'm sorry for the length of the voicemails. It's all my fault. It's because I was short on snowplow shows last week. Wasn't I? I think I only did one last week or maybe the week before. I've been behind. I need to do more shows. I fully blame the sponsors of today's show. The Mad Weasel, Mr. John, Plaz, Ryan Jardina, and Anigal009 for me getting so behind on the voicemails. I'm sorry on their behalf, everyone. Don't forget, tonight is Hang Up the Phone right after Devin's Anus Spectacular show. All the fun starts around 7 p.m. Pacific tonight. Links are in the show notes. Be there tonight. I'm on the internet, posing as a little girl. I'm trying to lure evil into my world. Um, but I can call him and let him know.